everyone. Windows 10 is that version of software that has been out. It's been tried and true for so long now. So let's go and see how this particular version of software holds up in 2025. Now, the big thing to remember is that Windows 10 is basically going to be done getting software support this year. So it's going to end its free support for Windows 10 on October 14, 2025. After that particular date, any computer that's running Windows 10 will not be able to receive any free security updates, any non-security updates or technical support. So your computer is still going to work, but you're not going to be able to go ahead and get any more software updates from it. So that is a very, very big thing to keep in mind. Now, Windows 10 does give you, I guess, like there's a paid version of an extended security program. So if you want to pay for that, I think it's $30 or something like that. You can still get some security updates. But otherwise, the free version of Windows 10 that probably most people have, it's pretty much going to be done. But there are still some advantages for Windows 10 and the reason to still use it maybe up until the end of this year. Number one, it's already widely available. It's very familiar and it's very stable. Even though Windows 11 has been out for a couple of years now, people still love Windows 10 and it is a very good version of software, right? A lot of people are very familiar with the UI, with the way it looks, and it's also a very stable version of software since it's been iterated so many times. Microsoft has pretty much fixed a majority of issues you're probably going to be running into here. So I feel like that is kind of a really big thing to kind of keep in mind here when you're kind of going through and using a particular device, especially if it's on Windows 10. One other thing to keep in mind here too, is that because it has been iterated so many times, you are going to be getting a version of software that is optimized pretty well with a lot of these applications. So any application you're going to be using is still gonna be fine on Windows 10 as well. And because Windows 10 doesn't require as heavy hardware or as you know powerful of devices, as Windows 11 had, you can run Windows 10 on kind of lower end software, lower end versions of hardware, and you can actually get a pretty fast performing, you know, operating system on a, on a, you know, PC that might not run that well on Windows 11. Now, most of the time, most PCs probably nowadays can't equip and handle both, and Windows 11 is a little bit more resource intensive, but Windows 10 is, you know, available on a much lower end hardware. So those are kind of the main reasons I think a Windows 10 still holds up well, but there are some downsides, right? Like I said, there's not going to be any more sec free security updates towards the end of this year. So if you are still using Windows 10, you're still fine up until October, but once it starts kind of getting past October, you're not really going to be getting too many versions of software security updates if you have the free version. And that right there is going to be a pretty big downside if you're planning on sticking with Windows 10 for like another five years. Now there's no more improvements, there's no more updates, there's no more features being added. You're kind of done. Now I'm sure you can still find your way around getting more features and modding your PC and doing all sorts of things like that. But if you're not trying to do any of that, you're going to be kind of, you know, stuck in this little tiny area where you're not really going to be able to, you know, kind of, you know, upgrade your device. And on top of that, there could be some issues in the future for some application version control issues. So if a new application comes out, if a new game comes out, X, Y, and Z, you might not be able to install those games or apps on a Windows 10 PC in the next coming years. I think for now, you're still going to be fine, but maybe in the next five years, you know, that's how long of a lifespan we're talking about. You're going to start running into those types of compatibility issues. Same thing that Windows 8 and Windows 7 kind of experienced as well. So there's going to be some type of situation you're going to run into there, but so far, I would still say Windows 10 is still worth using, you know, it's still good for now, but if you're trying to use this version of software like five years from now, that's probably not going to be a good idea in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.